Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Small Town Hunters. I'm Drew, I'm back out here. It is November 1st. Um, yesterday was Halloween, obviously, and I'm back out today. This past weekend, um, I was out at Camp Ripley here in Minnesota uh, doing a two-day hunt kind of thing. Got three hunts in, um, came back um, at noon today and decided to go back out of my own property. So here I am. Uh, rut is, I wouldn't say in full-blown swing, but it's... It's going on. I've seen a lot of rutting activity up there, and I just walked to this new spot that I use my climber in today That where I've been seeing deer majority of the time when I come out here. Um, right in front of me here at 11 yards, I have a nice big scrape that's fresh, and then right here behind me at like 7 yards, I have one fresh. This is the only tree I could get in um, that I liked, so it kind of stinks I'm close, but there's a whole scrape line back behind me where I put some cameras um, just now. Um, to do that uh, to see what's walking through but hopefully I get them coming from the bedding area to you know browse for does I'm gonna be grunting I'm gonna be quite aggressive when I'm doing this too so uh, I spooked up two does I think that were bedded down right here um, I couldn't tell I just kind of seen them run off knew they were does um, but yeah last time I sat down about a uh, hundred yards and this is where they all came in maybe not even 175 yards so I elected just to try out my climber and throw it up here. I'm really happy with the spot. I need to put an actual spot here. But rifles uh, next weekend here uh, in Minnesota. And I do not have permission to hunt here um, for a rifle, which is fine. That's what I wanted anyways. I don't really want to hunt rifle here. Um, so I'm going to hunt well, today, really. I got work and football for the next week. So this is the chance to get the big one. Then I'll head out to my, then I'll head out to my grandparents to... For rifle, um, right now I see a deer. There's a doe walking in. <laughs> as I, I'm, as I'm just saying, I was sitting. 75 yards down. That's exactly where she walked in. She probably just walked right next to my stand that I have over there. Um, big doe. Huge doe. thought it was a buck. I thought it was actually like a, a nice buck. I'm kind of watching behind her. She didn't act like nothing was on her, but that was a big doe. So I'm going to shut up here and I guess it's a great sign. So hopefully I'm only going for something big. Don't think I'm going to shoot a doe. I, nah, I'm not going to shoot a doe. I might shoot a doe. We'll see. I don't want to, it's rut, but I kind of want some more venison. So, we will see. But uh, I'm going to sit down and shut up now. Hopefully we can at least get some bucks on camera. I'm going to start grunting here in a few minutes. So.
see them stop. Now I don't know. They're looking though. They're chasing. It's only quarter after three. I mean, granted, it gets dark at 5.30 now, but I still have two more. That was crazy. Wow. Three bucks. There's the big one. I think the big one just pushed him onto the bedding area. Um, but uh, I don't know what's going on. That guy, the little guy, ran with that big, the uh, eight one I just had here to the big one. I think they kind of clashed some antlers and then they kick, he kicked him out there. So I did a couple doe bleats, so hopefully ends up coming this way but that was chaos he was right here after a couple grunts I mean he was 15 yards I never had a shot and I wasn't gonna shoot him which was I don't know how I passed him up but I mean obviously didn't have a shot but he was bigger than the other one I shot he was nice but that one back there was way bigger I only got a couple glimpses and I didn't even try with the camera. But, uh, like I said, I still have two hours left. Two hours, so they're chasing. Whew, that's exciting. I haven't felt that in a while, so that was fun. So hopefully we get more rolling through here. Hopefully a doe comes by. Need a hot doe to run by. Get them running through, so. Stick tight, hopefully we see some more.
as you see here, I'm editing that video you just watched. Uh, when that hunt happened, which was like six months ago since I'm editing it now, um, my camera died at the end of it. Uh, I just wanted to do an outro because I didn't have one. Uh, basically, seeing a whole bunch of deer, seeing like 15, 20 deer, like five bucks. Uh, it was just a great hunt overall. Like I said in the video, the rut was really going on. Um, deer were chasing, I was grunting, they were just all over the place. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get a decent sized buck to come by or a doe, um, but nonetheless, it was a really fun hunt. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to put an outro out there so that I could complete the end of the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Uh, we're going to be getting into turkey hunting here pretty soon, and hopefully we'll be starting up our podcast on YouTube and on podcast, podcast listening sites. Uh, me and Anthony are going to start that up. And then I'm going out to South Dakota here in a couple weeks to do some turkey hunting out in the Black Hills. I should have a few videos on that when that goes on. So I'll let you guys know on Twitter and Instagram where I'll be hunting and how everyone else will be hunting back in Minnesota. And then I'll come back here for more turkey hunts in Minnesota. So make sure you stick around. Keep watching our videos. We really appreciate it. Hope to see you in the next one.